And so this will show off some of our new uh, UI constructs to make it easier for developers to develop applications. So we have the idea of fragments. So here we can see two fragments. We have the messages list fragment and the content fragment. So as I interact with this fragment, the, the information over here changes. Other cool things you can do, like, oh, and so I can navigate back to my list of, you know, so I've got my inbox and my labels here. If I wanted to apply a new label to this message, I could tap on it and drag it over and I'll label it as personal. So you can see it changes there and then let's see which one did I label? So if I go to personal, it's going to go out to the, the web there and grab it and then talk about the secret Android project, which is not so much of a secret anymore. So, and, and fragments here all cooperate through their hosting activity. So, when I start interacting with this fragment and the other fragments know that a drag is happening, they can change and respond to that as well. Does this support priority inbox yet? Um, I think priority, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to check, but priority inbox is, I think, more or less a label. So, I think it should just show up. And uh, what about composing? Think about when I when I use it on. Can we go back to that previous yeah. page? Oh, uh, composition. Okay, so you get this thing nice here. And... Yep, so actually, is that based on the video or is that just people on the It's maybe not that good. <laughs> um, I have noticed that the aggressiveness of the corrections is toned down a little, probably because it thinks you have a bigger keyboard. You know, you probably, it's more likely that you meant what you said, kind of. Right. So that's Gmail. Uh, and uh, the home screen widget has it's scrollable, right? Yep. So home screen widget, and I think, you know, so this was our grid of bookmarks that was shown before. And another one that I think will be really popular is the stats here. So I can